Hey beloved, Chris the Pettiford here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing a prophetic word from God for the month of September 2024. And that word is get back to the feet of Jesus. Get to the feet of Jesus. And why? Because in this season, in this time, at this juncture, you need to hear God for yourself in this season. And where do you hear God most? Sitting at his feet, hearing his word. Whether he speaks to you with the audible, still quiet voice inside of you or by his written word, God is calling his daughters back to his heart calling god's daughters back to the heart of his of the father he's calling not only his daughters but his sons and daughters if you're a man that watches my channel back to his feet where you can know god's heart for you oftentimes we or this generation goes to other people there are people with itching ears and there are just as many people who um, believe they have a word from God that would like to prophesy to you. The problem with that is that people prophesy out of their own soul. That's what the Bible calls it. And so God has something to speak to you, for you, about you, to direct you, to correct you, and to instruct you in this season for the new season that is upon us. If you follow the biblical Hebraic or Jewish calendar, whatever you want to call it, the new year 5785 is coming up um, in the beginning of October. I think it's October 4th. And so as I've been praying and seeking God, as you'll notice from my video last week, the Lord has just told me to unbusy myself and quiet myself and share my 28-day lifestyle reset with people on my channel and through my email and wherever you find me, you can download that for free. And a lifestyle is a habit, the rituals, the things that people do, uh, their routine, that they live by a group of people or a person. And so God is calling us back to the feet of Jesus to make our habit and our routine centered around him, to put him first. And so I want to get into this word and I want to encourage you to get back to the feet of Jesus. There's a lot of things that God wants to share with his people individually and corporately. Things are shifting and changing and I won't try and go into detail or say more than I am led to by God or even that I've been that has been revealed to me but I know that uh, as Christians we need Jesus we need not just religion and religious activity but we need the power of God we need the power of God in our life in this day and age the power not just to live right, but the authority to speak and to decree and to that our prayers would change situations. We need to be able to discern. We need to hear God in, in a moment and a moment when we need him to show up and speak to us to go in a certain direction. And so it's time for us to get back to the feet of Jesus and get away from uh the busyness of life, the busyness of much serving. And I'm not saying don't serve in your local church or anything like that. I'm saying make God first, prioritize him, make time to sit at Jesus' feet and hear his word. Get back to the feet of Jesus. It's imperative that you do so in this season. And if you're already at the feet of Jesus and you don't need this video and you have your quiet time and you can't use um, a refilling, a renewing, a refreshing, then share this with somebody who needs to. But I feel like so many people in the body of Christ were even doing our regular disciplines. Many of us are disciplined. We have spiritual discipline. We spend time in the word. We have a prayer life. But that intimate relationship that God wants to have with you, where you hear his voice, where you bask in his presence, where it's hard to leave because you feel the glory of God. I believe where yokes are broken just in his presence, where prayers are answered just in his presence, where things came off. The Bible says that the disciples would walk in their shadow. People would get healed there. 
because of what they were doing. And so this is a season, especially if you're going through a season in which you're very busy or you're very discouraged and you're going through a hard season, then you might be looking from ant for answers all over the place, but it's at the feet of Jesus where you're going to get um, the answers that you need. And so I just want to read this to you out of the book of Luke. And I'm going to be sharing different things in the next couple of videos because the Lord said, stay right here in your own life and with the people. And so in uh, Luke 10, verse 38, it says, Now it happened that as they went, he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who was who sat at the feet of Jesus and heard his word. She heard God. Hallelujah. She unbusied herself. Mm. She quieted her soul and she heard his word. In the midst of everybody else doing stuff, Mary sat there unbothered and heard from Jesus. But Martha was distracted with much serving. I want to talk about distracted, the root. Well, I think I talked about that last week, but I want to even get deeper into distraction and what that word means um, in the Greek. That'll be next week. And, he's, and she said to him, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen the good part, which will not be taken away from her. Here we are. And. Jesus says, Mary has chosen the good part, which will not be taken away from her, to sit at his feet and hear his word. She has chosen, she has made a choice. She has chosen what mattered to sit at Jesus' feet and hear his word. And what I found is that when you sit at Jesus' feet and hear his word, he comes in and he fills you with his presence and he makes his grace to fill the empty places and the thing you thought that you had to do that was so urgent and important, God brings help. He brings deliverance. He fills the balances, the scales with his grace. So what that what you thought was so important, like Martha, that was distracted with so much serving, But Jesus said this was the most important thing. So when when we think that, when something else is drawing us away, Jesus says, if you will sit at my feet, regardless of who's pulling on you, regardless of all the things that are saying that it's important, you have to do it now. Now, I'm not talking to mamas that have to feed their babies and things like that. I'm talking about getting up earlier, uh, going to sleep later, making time and all the things that you do to get back to the feet of Jesus. Get back to the feet of Jesus. And here's why. I'll tell you why biblically. I think I may have read this last week, but I didn't get into it as much. Psalm 16 says, Oh Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot or my inheritance again, my boundaries. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. I have a good or a beautiful inheritance. So when we make God our portion, as Jesus said, she has chosen the good portion. When we sit at Jesus' feet and hear his word, when we sit and let the Father speak to us, and hear his heart and not only ask him for what we need, but give him time to speak back to us and tell us what he wants for us, what he needs us to do in that day for him to instruct us, to direct us, to correct us. Then he will begin to speak more to you and entrust you with more. When we make him our portion, 
then he takes care of what we need and he also blesses us with we need with what we need verse 11 says you will show me the path of life in your presence is the fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore the thing that you are looking for is in his presence i may have said that again this last week but god is saying it's more than a teaching this is something i want you to proclaim to my daughters proclaim to the body of christ David said Psalm in Psalm 27, one thing, one thing have I desired and that will I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord. That's again, seeing him and being his, in his presence and to inquire, to ask in his temple for in the time of trouble, he will hide me. He will set me. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now will my head be lifted up above my enemies. And it goes on to talk about uh, seeking the Lord and waiting on him. When you said, seek my face, Lord, my, uh, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, will I seek. And it's a time to seek the Lord's face. Where do we do that? At the feet of Jesus. We seek his face at the feet of Jesus. We wait on the Lord. I encourage you to read Psalm 27 um, and Psalm 16. And back here in Luke uh, uh, 10, Jesus says, but one thing is needed. David said, one thing have I desired. You see how that goes together? The one thing that David was desired was the one thing that Jesus said is necessary, that holds eternal value, that the enemy cannot take away, that will pay you back in everything, in everything that you think you're giving up to spend time with Jesus. He wants to pour into you. He wants to give you more. I don't care how much you know, how much presence you have, how good you think you are. Jesus has more for you and he wants to give it to you and prepare you for the things that are coming in this season in the world for for you personally for your family and just in the world for the body of Christ but you have to sit at his feet so you can hear his word and then as David said he inquired of him in your presence you will show me what I need to know in his presence, David said he inquires of him. He beholds the beauty, the presence of the Lord. And so God wants to give you that. And so I encourage you to download my 28-day lifestyle reset um, workbook. I'm not doing that for this. Uh, I'm not doing I'm not doing these videos so that you can download my workbook. I am encouraging you to download the free workbook so you can reset your life and make time to sit at the feet of Jesus where he would have you so that you can hear, that you can reset and turn away from every distraction and reconnect with God, with the God of your salvation, who is your first love. Return to your first love. We all get busy and that's why we need a reset. So I pray that this video encourages you, stirs you up a little bit and that you would download that uh, workbook if you haven't already done so and um, begin to reset. And in fact, I'll be sending out a new version to everyone probably tomorrow. I had not um, even planned to do that last week and the Lord spoke to me about it. And so I did it and the workbook is so old. I want to do some updates and so i'm going to send that out so if you've already received it or you um have an eat or you requested it expect to receive a new one tomorrow through email but i encourage you to um, click the link now and you'll get it tomorrow when it comes out god bless you until next time and um, i just pray that you find, make time make time for the things that matter jesus being the first don't forget to like and subscribe if this video has blessed you and share it with someone who needs it. God bless you.